Welcome, everybody, to the latest episode of the NFL Draft Geek Film Room. I'm Brian Johannes, and today we're looking at Stanford running back Bryce Love. And what I'm going to do here, if you're not familiar with these, so I'm going to highlight a few of his plays, just kind of give you a glimpse of what type of prospect he is as he enters his senior year. Uh, being a senior, we know he's going to enter the 2019 NFL Draft. So um, just give you a good look at him uh, before the season starts, as the season progresses. We'll probably come out with another one of these later on. But uh, let's just go ahead and get started and kind of highlight the type of prospect that Bryce Love is. Uh, playing for Stanford... He's going to run a lot out of these types of sets. They're a power running team. They love their tight ends. They love uh, their fullbacks, and they love to run up the middle power in that. Um, but Love is a guy that's that's got uh, speed and explosiveness. And we're going to kind of show you that uh, right here with some of his change of direction. So uh, the ball uh, is going to start out going to his right, and it's not going to be open. And so we see right here, hey, he already sees, hey, this defender's got that leverage right there. Got this linebacker coming around. It's not going to work right there. So he shows the ability to cut it up here, not only to his left, but then upfield as we let it play out. So we'll cut it up to his left, upfield, and ends up getting, I mean, this is third and three. Okay. And he's able to make that play to get that first down. They were hoping they could run just, you know, kind of off tackle, off the guard, you know, an ISO type route, route uh, run, um, and get this first down. And Bryce Love was able to improvise and make this first down after all. And that just goes to show he's got that vision, he's got that cutback ability, he's got that lateral agility. He had to laterally cut to his left and then accelerate upfield to get this type of play. Right. The next play that I'm going to show you, okay, um, just kind of shows his patience and burst. And he, it's going to be a run to his right. It's going to, They're going to pull their two, two, ta uh, two guys from the other side. It's actually a heavy set. If you see right here, I look at all the people over here. I, mean, I shouldn't say it's a heavy set, but you look at, you know, Guard tackle, two tight ends, and they're going to pull guys. And he's going to get a nice lane, so it's not like he's having to make people miss, but it just shows his the patience to let the block develop and then his acceleration and burst to, to hit that hole. So as we see here, it's going to be a run to his right. Okay, So we're patient right there and then burst right here, make that linebacker miss, and get that large chunk play. And we'll see another clip of it right after this. Patience lets that block develop and then just burst through to get this large chunk play down the field. Let me kind of show you one more time. I'll slow it down just a little bit. Okay. As you see here, okay, he's able to hesitate just that second. He just enough to let this blocker engage right here with the linebacker. Okay. Just that hesitation allows it just that little bit of extra time to go. Then he's able to get through that line, burst past that linebacker safety there, and just get into the backfield, ends up breaking off a long yard. You throw in that, that face mask penalty, and that was a huge gain for Stanford. Okay. Uh, carrying on with that, we have this next play. Uh, it's going to just show off his just agility, balance, burst, all this kind of combined. And it's going to be a run to his right. Okay? And I'll just let it play out. As you see right here, he's able just to kind of hurdle a defender. I'll show you again. Going to hurdle a defender, keep his balance. One more time. Going to let it play out right here. He's able to hurdle this defender and then accelerate through that tackle. He shows the agility right here to make this lateral cut and just jump through. You know, it wasn't a full fledged jumping over him hurdle, but he was able to kind of make that lateral cut and get upfield. 
you know, so that's your whole agility. Um, he can make those moves uh, needed to get to that open space and into the end zone. Um, another clip that I want to show you. Hey, um, he didn't run any routes in this game. The only route he ran was this shovel pass that we're going to see right here. And it just shows, you know, he's able to make that quick catch and get upfield. Um, moving on to the NFL, he's going to have to be a good receiver. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. But this is about the only route he ran. He didn't run very many this during his junior year. Uh, but as we see here, hey, they're going to run a shovel pass to his left. Let this play out a little bit. But <clears throat> he's able to just make those hands catches. And in the NFL, you're going to have to, he, for his size, you're going to have to be a, a receiver. So as you see here, it will make that quick, just effortless catch. I know it was in his stomach. It was in the perfect spot. But able to make that catch and get upfield. Okay. As you see here, just effortless, and then, then make that move. Um, part of the reason why he didn't make a whole lot of catches is they left him in the block quite a bit and he was actually not bad as you see in this clip he's able to come up here he's able to meet that linebacker safety and and push him down the line and it's not like this guy is you know 256 pound inside linebacker and he's, he's just creaming him but as you see here he's able to meet him catch him and then engage with him and push him down. And he did this a couple times throughout the game. And yeah, he whiffed one time trying to cut a guy. But he shows the ability to stay inside, uh, lock up with the defender, and uh, and shut him down on blitz pickup. So that's definitely something you don't see a lot out of running backs. Uh, but when you do, it's, it really stands out. Um, as I said earlier, being five foot 10, 196 pounds, so under 200 pounds, He's not the biggest back, and he struggled at times running inside uh, for Stanford. You know, he doesn't run with the most power. A couple times he would leave himself vulnerable for some big hits. So that kind of makes me wonder. But, you know, he's a talented running back. I mean, last year as a, as a junior, he ran for 2,118 yards and 19 touchdowns. So he's definitely got production, and a big part of that is their offense. But you still, I mean, that's elite-level production. Um, as I said, I think he has to, you know, in the NFL, I think he translates to more of an outside runner. Um, I think he's going to have to be a, a good pass catcher. Um, he's only got 29 catches for 366 yards and two touchdowns on his career as a receiver. He ran a lot more routes as a sophomore when Christian McCaffrey was there. So they kind of would plug him in as McCaffrey's backup and run some of those same type of routes. So, uh, you know, there's a wheel route he ran against North Carolina in their bowl game where he uh, was able to reach behind him and make the catch to get, you know, on a long catch for touchdown. He ran an angle route where he, you know, had the defender beat but got held. So he shows that ability, but you just don't see a lot of it. Uh, most of his catches came during that sophomore year, or uh, freshman year, I should say. Um, so I'd like to see him get more involved. I doubt they do it that much, but who knows. But um, at this point, um, He's got a lot of talent. I'm not ready to put him in my top one or two running backs in this class, but I think he's right in that mix. Um, he's got a lot of potential and a guy that you uh, is a favorite, to, one of the favorites to win the Heisman, and I think he's going to be one of the most exciting backs in college football this year. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. The best way to get these is to subscribe here on YouTube. Uh, while you're doing that, make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram at draft underscore Brian. Uh, make sure you hit up NFLDraftGeek.com for all your draft needs, daily updates, uh, rankings, mock drafts, everything you'll need. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.